Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. We have a little bit of internet drama today. The suspense is terrible. He, he's gonna go this time. I hope it'll last. There is a famous YouTuber who is currently under fire for grooming and pedo behavior, and that is Colleen Ballinger. But you might know her best as Miranda Sings. I think you know her. She wears the bright red, high-waisted sweatpants, the lipstick all over her mouth. She was really, really big in the like 2014 to 2016 era. I would say like, I think those are the years that I really really, really remember her when like all of my friends were dressing up as her for Halloween. She was everywhere on the internet. And Miranda Sings was somebody that I was never allowed to watch. And I don't think it was because my mom thought that she was inappropriate. Like my mom thought that she was incredibly annoying and stupid and added no value to my life, which looking back is an incredibly valid reason to say no to content. If it is a mind numbing time suck, your children do not need to watch it. You do not need to just put them up in front of a TV and go, oh, well, you know, it's not terrible. So I'll just let them know it's, if it's stupid, they don't need to watch it. My mom was queen of that. But anyway, I don't have much of a connection to Miranda Sings. Things. I'm not heartbroken over these allegations, but when I was younger, my friends were obsessed with her, so I know her through them. But it is not looking good for Miranda, aka Colleen, these days. Before we get into that story, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. All right, so I first saw this story on Pop Crave. It was posted before the weekend. Colleen Ballinger, YouTuber known for her character Miranda Sings, is under fire for engaging in a pattern of inappropriate behavior with underage fans fans. She's being accused of grooming, manipulating fans into doing free labor for her, bullying, and more. And then here's a photo of her. That's just Colleen being Colleen. Somebody commented and said, I found her YouTube character absolutely annoying and insufferable and got such bad vibes from her as a person. I am so glad y'all have seen the light. What? How could you say something like that? Somebody else said, when the random e celeb you dislike for just being dumb and annoying and unfunny is finally outed for a legitimate reason to dislike them. That is how I feel right now. Like, great. Now there's an actual reason that I can say I dislike her other than just, <laughs> I think that she added no value to anyone's life. But apparently this isn't new information. I am just hearing this for the first time again, because I was never like a Miranda Singh stan, but this has been going around the internet for a while. Somebody said this new, I thought she got accused of this years ago. She's still doing this. Another person said again, I remember this already happened a few times and somebody replied to that and said, didn't happen again, it's just being brought back up now. So obviously it's new to me, so let's just dive in. Now this all started when an ex-fan named Adam McIntyre started speaking out on YouTube and posting videos about how he believed that he was groomed and exploited by Colleen, AKA Miranda Sings. Now in that era of YouTube, people were more engaged with their fans and so Colleen was in these group chats with her fans and she was DMing her fans. It was like the era of, you know, Taylor Swift on Tumblr with all of her fans, if you guys know that era. But anyway, he posted something in 2020, it got 1.7 million views, but he was bullied by Miranda's fans, Colleen's fans, into silence, but he is now speaking out. Again, here is the most recent video. It's just from four days ago. And then in addition to his videos that he's been posting, somebody did a super long thread on Twitter with a lot of clips from her channel and her live shows that she would do. She toured for a really long time, showing this incredibly inappropriate and disgusting behavior like this one, where she pretends to be on a date with a nine-year-old boy who she pulled up from the audience and has him reach in her pants for a snack. And so now watch this. We're on the date, James. It's really romantic. Oh, we're getting clothes and personal. Oh, but I'm so hungry, James. Hold on, I got a snack. <laughs> Was this in your self-help book? Was this in my self-help book? Was it? Because I brought self-help with me and I was just wondering. Well, shouldn't you know if you've read it? <laughs> I'm just kidding, James. I'm just kidding. I love you. I'm just kidding. So, oh, that's hard. Do you want a cheese ball? Um, I'd love them. I can't believe I'm reaching in there right now. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it either. It's just like, obviously people are laughing at this and it's like, oh, it's so funny. She keeps like cheese, like sh Miranda, the character kept like cheese balls in her pants. But did nobody think that maybe this was a bit odd that a nine-year-old boy that she's bringing on stage to pretend like they're on a date is reaching in her pants and his parents are just laughing about it and the audience is just laughing about it. Like, it's just... Again, it's just odd. Now, apparently this was a normal thing and a normal skit that she did because somebody quote tweeted that video and said, help the way this literally happened to me in middle school. And here's a photo of that person also reaching into her pants. Like what freaking person gets on stage and is like, oh yeah, this is great. Like, now here's another video it was posted to that same thread from her live show where she had a little girl, a child, pretending to give birth on stage. This little girl had a script that she was reading and this is just like, it's incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm so excited for you to give 
birthed this baby. I love little girls. Huh? Oh, do you need a pool massage? No, it's not a poo, it's a baby. Oh, I'm so pregnant. I just know it. I am. Well, let's get you to the hospital. Okay, before we even get into the weirder part, like, who thinks this is funny? Who gave this person a platform? This is so dumb. The humor is so dumb. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Why, why does she have a live show? Like, I genuinely don't know. She just said, oop, you smell fertile when a little girl is on stage giving birth. Like, it's freaking weird. It's inappropriate. And again, it's not funny. I'm not even saying this is some, like, prude. Objectively, this isn't laughable. This isn't comedy whatsoever. And it smells fertile. That's what they say. Now push. She's now in between the little girl's legs. Like, it's so wrong. Did nobody watch this and go, oh, hey, maybe this is not the most comfortable thing or appropriate thing? Apparently not. Now, somebody commented under this one and said, I think this and other Miranda Sings videos on this thread show that she should have put in more effort into either making this character more family friendly or being strict about the fact that Miranda wasn't meant to be family friendly in the first place. I think that this is a really important point because when she and her ex-husband, I believe, first started making these Miranda videos and their vlogs over a decade ago, they were definitely sexually explicit. Like, there was one vlog where she was reaching down her ex-husband's pants and he was saying, no, 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 don't do that. And she was on camera. Like, all of it was so inappropriate. Like, this video on how to kiss and she chose to use some very interesting objects for this. Meanwhile, her audience was rapidly becoming child-based. I hear brunch. As you can see, it's a perfectly good size. It's a little bit bigger than the lipstick. You want to put that in? That's her ex-husband. Can you close it? Well, that's not what I want. Can we at least pull the hair out? No, it makes it more realistic. A lot of people have hair. No comment. <laughs> like, obviously, the sexual innuendo is there. And again, her audience was primarily children. Maybe it didn't start off that way, but it became primarily children, the people who were buying her books. There are videos of her doing book signings. Everybody at the stupid Barnes and Nobles were children. And she still thought that all of this was okay. And she didn't draw a line in the sand and say, hey guys, this really was not supposed to be for kids. No, she leaned into it. And that is the problem. Like, I don't know when or how her audience changed, but I know that when I was like 11 to 12 years old, she was the hot YouTuber for my age group. She should have addressed that in some way or another, but instead she just went further down this path and it is a terrible look. Somebody commented and said, this exists but people are more concerned about drag shows. Like, no, we are concerned about all of it. That is the point. We are concerned about the sexualization and exploitation of children under the guise of harmless entertainment. We're concerned about all of it. We're not picking and choosing here. It's important to be consistent. Like, look at these thumbnails that she, for some reason, thought were okay. How to ride a child and I'm a pedophile? It's shocking. Here's another example of her bringing a kid on stage and putting her into an obviously sexualized position. <laughs> so she had the girl on her back with her legs spread in a dress and then played a fart noise, obviously to embarrass this child. Like, I don't even know who let her have these live shows after all of this. Here's a terrible comparison that she made in one of her vlogs. This is relatively more recent. I can't. You want a tour of my house? There are leaks all over my house right now. Brand new house, by the way. And every time it rains, it leaks. Just like a teenage girl's <laughs> Just, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. It leaks so much like a little girl's creases when she wants a me. Like a little girl's creases when she's watching those strange little boys on Musical.ly. I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, if you can't believe that you just said that, maybe you shouldn't. That isn't something that you accidentally said and then you cut out later on. You tried to find the best way to say that three times and then chose to leave all three in because you thought it was so funny. It's not. And yes, Miranda Sings is a character of Colleen's and people will argue that we have to look at her as an actor and she's just playing a role and she's not inappropriate. Miranda Sings is just inappropriate. But why would this third 
30 year old woman choose to play this role when her fan base is dominated by kids like does nobody else think that that is weird plus she herself has said that miranda is quite literally part of her miranda says all the things that colleen wishes she could say and do do you ever mean what she's saying yes all the time there's a lot of times where in character i'll say something so cruel or um you know something i'm thinking but i would never actually say as myself mm -hmm. and it's very liberating to be mm -hmm. able to say things that i'm thinking can i give you some advice yes never tell people when those moments are <laughs> i won't i promise because i would sometimes agree with my old character but right. i never wanted you to know when <laughs> yeah. that was because i'd like you to like me right. <laughs> i'm such an awful person <laughs> I will never no we actually do see through it she is not just a character miranda is colleen and also we can't ignore the fact that she was interacting with her minor fan base as colleen outside of the miranda bit she used to have these group chats with her underage fans they called colleen's weenies here's one where she said are you a virgin she was asking the kids in her group chat she also asked in another one what's your favorite position this was all brought up by adam the boy that i talked about earlier you can go watch his long videos about it there was also another person that came forward that had very similar conversations but with miranda's brother whose name is trent i believe and her brother was also in his late 20s early 30s and was communicating with like a 13 year old little girl like apparently this whole family is just very screwed up and inappropriate like none of this is family or child inappropriate even though she knew that that was her audience it was the kids buying her book where she taught them how to draw a penis or if something got stuck inside of you you should call your uncle which was literally in her self-help book it was kids selling out her live shows where she brought them on stage to sexualize them now crude humor is pretty normal and commonplace these days but this is absolutely abhorrent and inappropriate because it involves children and it was tailored and directed at children. Now, the person who made this long Twitter thread posted this, which I think sums it up really well. He said, I understand that Miranda is a character, but the Miranda uncle pedophile jokes that she thinks are jokes can put young sexual assault victims in danger. Kids don't pick up that it's humor right away, especially the younger they are. The stuff that she says is quite literally normalizing pedophilia for kids. Calling kids up on stage and having them do inappropriate things for a laugh will have an impact on them later in life. And it will have an impact on her audience and everybody who's watching. They go on and they say, I know that you think kids are just kids calling back but these kids grow up into adults and sexualizing them on stage is quite literally traumatizing. She was an adult. I cannot emphasize this more. She was 30 years old. She was old enough to know what was appropriate. But also, I have a bone to pick with the parents who brought their kids to these shows or let them watch Miranda Sings because just pay attention to what your kids are watching. And as much as I want to tell Colleen that she should have been more responsible when it comes to her audience, at the end of the day, the parents are the people who determine what content and what values come into their home. And you might not be able to control what goes on online and what goes on in the world around you, but parents do have a say in what what comes into their home. This type of content, this type of creator is gross. This is not family friendly or appropriate for your kids. Be vigilant, say no. It is fine to draw a line in the sand when it comes to content. These are your kids we're talking about. This is disgusting. Thanks for watching this episode of the comment section. I hope you enjoyed it and that you maybe even learned something. If you've not already, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss an episode.